Award-winning inventor and author Julie Austin is transforming businesses and lives with her interactive creativity and innovation keynote speeches, breakouts, and workshops, giving participants the tools they need to generate new ideas of their own. Her patented product, Swiggy's Wrist Water Bottles, have been a NASDAQ Product of the Year semifinalist and are sold in over 20 countries. Julie makes innovation fun, educational, and inspires audiences with her passion. Her background in front of the camera as a TV host and behind the scenes as a writer-producer guarantees she will deliver a dynamic, inspiring, and entertaining speech thoroughly researched and customized specifically for your audience. 30,000 newspaper workers out of a job. Ad revenue slashed by 45%. And new technology threatening the very existence of newspapers. Sound familiar? Well, it would be if you were reading a history book. Because this actually happened in 1928. The reason? The Great Depression. The new technology? Radio. Now, it's not the first time an industry has been disrupted, and it certainly won't be the last. So I finally get on the plane, and I have to sit next to this woman. New choice. <laughs> this man. New choice. This golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> Proceeded to bark during the entire flight. <laughs> the telegraph came along and you could send short, secure messages over great distances. And that was wonderful. Western Union was booming. They were making so much money. They had no competition. Until the phone came along. And the funny thing is, uh, Alexander Graham Bell went to Western Union to see if they would buy the patent on the phone. And they turned it down. He said, why would anyone want to talk to anyone? We can send a message. As I just said that, I'm realizing we're regressing. <laughs> <laughs> now when you call people there, you called me on the phone. <laughs> just send me a message. But the phone didn't go away. And Western Union went, huh, well, I guess maybe we should have bought that patent. Well, we'll just go around it. And they tried to go around it, and Bell sued and won. Now, Western Union realized they had to innovate or they were going to go out of business. Learn from nature. The bullet trains in Japan are wonderful. 200 miles an hour, very quiet, except when they went through a tunnel. And then it was like a sonic boom and it gave everybody a headache. So this one engineer had the task of finding a solution. Well, it just so happened, again, another streak of serendipity, that he was a bird watcher. And he noticed the kingfisher bird would dive from a very high branch into the water without making a sound. The kingfisher bird had a very long, narrow beak. So this engineer thought, hmm, I wonder if we use that kind of design, if it would work for the trains. And it worked. And if you look at the Japanese bullet trains, they all have that same design now. Nature, if you want an idea, go to nature. Again, it's a gold mine of ideas. You know, it's kind of a shame that, you know, kids are encouraged to be creative and silly and goofy. And adults, you know, as soon as you get to a certain age, 